John o. Smith, New Orleans, what kind of city is that, first of all? I know you didn't grow up there, but you live there now. That's where your, your home base is now. Yeah. What, what kind is it, the Big Easy? It's a, I mean, they call it Big Easy for a reason. I mean, um, at any time of the day, you can go on Bourbon Street, you can go on the French Quarter. Uh, if you like live music, you can go down there any time of the day, hear live music. The drink specials are great. <laughs> And the people are easy going. I mean, uh, that's why they call it the Big Easy. The sports scene in uh, in New Orleans. I mean, there's been some some big events going through there, and there's also been some big teams, the Saints, of course, and the Hornets. Uh, what does the sports scene mean to to the city? I mean, it, it means a lot to the city. I mean, when uh, you know after uh, Katrina happened, I, I mean, I can't even tell you how you know, like the whole city of New Orleans was was crushed. And uh, once they brought the Saints back, and once they brought the Hornets back, uh, people started to get their spirits up, going to the games, cheering. And uh, I mean, it, it brings a lot of love, a lot of unity to the city. An event like the All-Star Game was went, uh, brought to New Orleans, of course, also to give something back and trying to help them bounce back after Hurricane Katrina. Uh, now they're there again for this year's All-Star Game. What does a, an event like that mean? Uh, I mean, it, it means a lot to the city of New Orleans, you know, especially because, you know, people only hear about the, the violence in New Orleans, but it's a great city. So for them to bring the All-Star game says a lot about the city. I mean, they're not going to bring the All-Star game, you know, where people are getting robbed and shot up every day. So, I, you know, like I say, it brings a lot of unity. I mean, you know, if you get a chance to make it out there, uh, you're going to see a, a a mixed variety of, of people, young and old, so it means a lot to the city. On the NBA in New Orleans, you at one point touched base with the, with the Hornets. You had some practices with them. What kind of organization is that? I know it's the same even though they changed names to the, to the Pelicans now, but what kind of organization is it? It's very professional. Um, they, I mean, they, they care about you on and off the court. I mean, after I practice, uh, I remember leaving the uh, the arena and getting a phone call from uh, one of the one, one of the players saying, "Hey, uh, if you're not doing anything later, you know, meet us over here for dinner." Mm -hmm. You know, I I mean, everybody that comes through there from the head guy until the the last assistant coach are, are great people on and off the court. How does it make you feel talking about uh, both your hometown for now uh, and uh, this opportunity, this memoir in your in your basketball career? I mean, it's great. It's you know, it's something I can always look back on and say, you know, uh, I practiced with some of the best guys in the in the world, you know, and and, and you know, I did pretty good. So I mean, it, it's a good, I can, like I say, it's a good thing. So I can tell my kids like, hey, this is what your pops did.